In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Launchpad in Ableton Live Lite and give you an overview of the functions on your Launchpad. Connect your Launchpad to your computer using the provided USB cable and ensure that you're running the latest version of Ableton Live Lite. Open the Preferences by going to Option and Preferences on a PC or Live Preferences on a Mac. Go to the Link MIDI tab and on a PC, select Launchpad X under Control Surface and ensure that LPX MIDI is selected under both input and output. Finally, ensure that the track, sync and remote settings are configured as shown on screen. On a Mac, select the Launchpad X under Control Surface and select LPX Door Out under Input and LPX Door In under Output. Finally, ensure that the track, sync and remote settings are configured as shown on screen. Your Launchpad X is now set up and ready to use with Live. You're now able to use the session mode to take control of live session view using the Launchpad's 8x8 RGB grid. On screen, you can see the demo session for Live Lite, which will open the first time you launch Live after installing it. If this isn't the first time you've opened Live, then you can find the demo sessions in the locations shown on screen. Press tab on your keyboard to enter the session view in Live. The columns on the launch pad correspond to the tracks in Ableton Live. The rows on the launch pad correspond to scenes. And the individual pads on the launch pad correspond to clip slots. We'll cover this in more depth if you choose to watch the music making tutorial next. You can select session on your launch pad so that the button turns orange and the Launchpad X is now in mixer mode. You can use the scene launch buttons on the right side to choose which section of Live's mixer you want to control. Parameter movements are now velocity sensitive and this means that if you want to change track volume for example, the harder you hit the pad, the quicker the change happens and the softer you hit the pad, the slower the change happens. This allows you to create expressive and dynamic performances. Press session again so that the button turns green to exit the mixer mode. Now, because I have a track with a drum rack selected and record armed, when I enter the note mode, I see a drum layout and I can play live's drum racks like so. If I have an instrument track selected and record armed, the launch pad will display the chromatic note view for which you're able to select a scale, like C minor for example. The pink pads represent the root note of the currently selected scale, which would be C in this instance. The blue notes represent the notes included in the selected scale, and the unlit pads represent the notes outside of the currently selected scale. To select a scale, Press and hold note to enter the note mode settings. You can now select a root note on the scale viewer. And you can select a scale type from these 16 blue pads, for example, major or minor. If you want to hide the notes that are outside of the currently selected scale, you can turn on scale mode by pressing and holding note and pressing the red pad in the top right of the grid. When you press note again to exit the note mode settings, scale mode filters out all of the notes that aren't in your currently chosen scale. This allows you to play freely without ever going out of key. Custom mode turns the Launchpad X's 8x8 grid into a deeply customizable control surface. To access custom modes, press the custom button. The top four scene launch buttons will be lit and can be pressed to switch between custom modes 1, 2, 3 and 4. Custom mode 1 is a drum layout. Custom mode 2 is a chromatic keyboard layout. And custom modes 3 and 4 are unlit templates that send different sets of MIDI notes. 
You can find more information about Novation Components at novationmusic.com forward slash components. The session record button can be used to record clips in live session view. And you can also press and hold this button to access live's capture MIDI function. This allows you to capture any MIDI that was played on a record arm track with one click, even if you weren't recording, so that you never miss an idea. If you'd like to learn more about using your launchpad in Ableton Live Lite, then you can progress to a tutorial using the button below. If you're up and running with your launchpad, then that's great. Let us know and we'll show you the next steps.